I saw a very big snake. From there, we hardly eat. I swim with the snake. Strange voice. They'll be telling me, cut this leaf. Anybody that's sick, if you go to the hospital, you will not come back alive. Please subscribe, share, like. If you want more videos, please hit the notification button love you all thank you hello everyone this is emma from tema how are you all doing yeah i know the lord himself is taking care of us as long as we keep our eyes on him he will do it again and again okay so today we're going to squan our own squan follow me let's watch that clap is not enough let's put our hands together for jesus we are still listening to amazing testimony from the people of God. Remember what Prophet C.B. Joshua says, that if millions of this generation are to believe in Christ Jesus, they must see proof that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shall we shout hallelujah? Yes, we have another person in our midst who would like to give glory to God regarding our deliverance. Let's put our hands together as we welcome her. Matt, you're welcome. Kindly introduce yourself, introduce the person standing beside you, and share with us your amazing testimony. Good morning, church. Good morning, I win today. Win tomorrow, I win forever. Our names are Aiken Benatsu Chiji Thomas. I want to thank God for the deliverance that God had delivered us from the spirit of idol. It all started when I was a child. I went home with my parents. They left me at the farm. I was coming. I saw a very big snake at a particular tree. When I see this snake, I was wondering, which kind of a snake is this? From there, our family, a lot of things happened in my family. There is hardship, poverty, we hardly eat, and I'm having some serious dream. I'll be dreaming that I swim with the snake. Whenever somebody shouts that sea snake or sea snake, I'll be running to see the, the type of snake. But I'll see that snake is very small. I will compare it with the one that I saw. Ah, I say, what, what kind of a thing is this? So my family, I'll be hearing strange voice. They will be telling me that cut this leaf. If you cut this leaf, you will, if you mix it to anybody that is a sick, you will heal. Well, I'm sure this is how so many people become herbalists. And especially, she did not tell her parents about the dream or the snake she saw when she was coming. Because if she did, Maybe if the parents are Christians, they would like to pray about that. There are so many things uh, young people have to tell their parents. For the particular sickness, I used to give them. But my own, if I sick, I call that leaf. I will not go to my own healing. And in my family, anybody that is sick, if you go to the hospital, you will not come back alive. Four of them died because of that. So my brother wife said she wants to cut the tree to make a firewood. When she called the operator, they went to cut that tree and their machine got fire. They say, ah, this tree is not ordinary. They went back, then do their own incantation. They came back and cut the tree. After they cut that tree, they saw a very big hole under the tree and the tree catch fire again. So my own, I've been having stomach pain to the extent that they took me to the hospital. They operated me for appendix. So immediately they operated me for the appendix. I hear a voice. The voice told me that you should better go home. If you don't leave this hospital, the next thing is death. They will carry your dead body to home. I told my brothers that I'm not going to stay in this place. I'm going home. It's okay. I've been disturbing them. They now took me home. All my family, they were happy because I'm the only survivor. I give glory for that. What happened? Immediately, I took in. Like a few weeks ago, I took in. And I'm having stomach pain again. This one is unbearable. My husband told me that. Let's go to the hospital. I said, no. I will not go to the hospital. Just take me to synagogue. 
So, I really love it when people say, don't take me to the hospital, take me to synagogue. <laughs> yes, because God is doing wonders there. There is nothing too hard for you know. Jeremiah 32, <laughs> verse 27 said that. Is there anything too hard for God, for me? We are opportunity to be in the church last week, Sunday, when the evangelist minister to us, pray for me, lay hand on me. As if they told him that something is happening in my stomach. He hold my hand and I lay on my stomach immediately. I got to my healing. I give glory to God. I thank God to, to I thank God for what he did to my life and the life of my family. I strongly believe that with this we are receive our delivery. And my family are free in Jesus' name. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So after your deliverance, what are the changes you have noticed? I, have I see peace. There is nothing like dreaming, swimming with the snake again. Nothing, nothing like strange voice, do this and do that. And my marriage has been restored. And my husband loved me more than before. Me self, I see my husband as a husband now. I thank God for what he did to my life. Thank you. Put hands together for Jesus. What about the excruciating tummy pain you were having before you came to the church? I don't have it any longer. There is nothing like stomach pain again. I am free now. As you can see, I can beat my stomach now. Nothing is happening there again. We thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. So with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of encouragement to people listening to you? The word of encouragement to viewers all over the world and the people sitting down here at the church. The only thing that we need to do is believe. Have faith in God. We God, all things are possible. This time is not a barrier. In Jesus' name. Amen. Try to put our hands together for Jesus. Let's listen to your husband. So please introduce yourself and tell us more about the challenges your wife passed through before she received her deliverance. People of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Good morning, church. My name's uh, Mr. Chidi Thomas. Mr. Chidi Thomas. I want to thank God for what God did in our life, in our family. Sorry, before you go for that, who is the person standing beside you? My, my lovely wife, Mrs. Bernard Chidi Thomas. So the problem that brought us here is not to foundation. But I want to thank God for everything that Almighty God did in our family. If I, something that money could not buy, but God did it for our life. In the, we want to thank God by giving the mighty name of Jesus. So it happened like this. Whenever, ever since I got, to, got married to my wife, things are not easy for me. Going on and coming down, roughly and smooth, ever from Nassau State, we located down to here, down in Lagos. So we are there, and we have a two issue. When we have two issue, we are believing God for the fruit of whom, and each time she took in pain, pain will start, not even a small pain, a painful pain that can took my night away each time she started all these things. So sometimes I couldn't go to work, I'll be there with her. So the first one came, we went to hospital, they say that we wash our system, atomic, then we did the first one. Second one again came, we still repeated the same, I say, God, why? How can I, how can I be wasting my baby like this? So the third time came, the pain was so much, I told her, can we try it again? We should go to scan. She said, no, I should take her to synagogue of all nations. I said, are you serious? She said, yes. Then that day, the day that she, she, the day that we came, unfortunately, the evangelist lay hand on her, and instantly, instantly, he hit on the stomach. On that, the same particular place, they normally feel pain. I say, wow, God has done it in our life. And after then, since then, the pain stopped entirely, entirely. Entirely, what I mean entirely, the pain stop. So it stop entirely. No more pain for her. And I thank God for it. I really thank God for that. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So how do you feel now that your wife has been delivered? And what changes have you seen in her? I feel much changes because then when, when pain started, I have to be the one to take care of my children, bed them and take them to school. She'll be there alone, crying all sorts of day. But now, we do everything together, we share things together, and happiness comes every day, day and night. And I thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. 
So we thank God Almighty for what he has done and may the deliverance and healing remain permanent in your lives in Jesus name. Amen. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Jen, que viene acompañada de su esposo. Ellos son de aquí de Nigeria y ella viene a dar gracias a Dios por su liberación. Nos comenta que desde pequeña ella solía tener pesadillas en las que veía serpientes. Y también nos cuenta que su familia experimentaba muchas dificultades y que cuando alguien de su familia enfermaba, si esa persona era llevada al hospital, moriría. Ella nos dice que experimentaba fuertes dolores de estoma estomacales y también crisis de salud a tal punto de que ella no podía cuidar de sus hijos ni, ni de su hogar su esposo tenía que hacer las cosas por ella más tarde en busca de su liberación ella vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones aquí un evangelista oró por ella el espíritu que estaba atormentando su vida como podemos ver en pantalla se manifestó y fue completamente libre para la gloria de Dios después de su liberación ella ha visto muchos cambios en su vida y matrimonio y familia ella nos comenta que las pesadillas se han acabado las crisis de su salud se han terminado ella está completamente sana ya no siente ningún dolor, puede hacer las cosas que antes no podía hacer y su matrimonio se ha restaurado para la gloria de Dios. Espectador, permanece conectado. Espectadores del mundo entero, nosotros vemos el magnífico testimonio de deliverance de Madame Chidi Thomas, acompañada de su mari. Ella cuenta que cuando ella era joven, ella vio un gran serpiente en un árbol y desde luego, ella y su familia han comenzado a vivir la pobreza y el échec. Ella tenía siempre des cauchemars où elle voyait des serpents. Elle dit qu'elle entendait des voix qui lui demandaient de couper certaines feuilles d'un arbre et de les prescrire comme remède à des personnes malades. Elle Elle dit que dans sa vie personnelle, elle était toujours malade, mais quand elle prenait les feuilles de cet arbre, elle n'allait pas mieux. L'affection entre elle et son mari a été détruite. Elle a été opérée car elle souffrait d'appendicite. Venue ici à la Squan, elle a reçu la prière de l'un des évangélistes et a été délivrée pour la gloire de Dieu. Son mari témoigne que depuis leur mariage, ses affaires se sont renversées, il avait des difficultés à l'enceinte et il traversait beaucoup d'autres difficultés. Mais après la délivrance de sa femme, il a vu des changements dans la vie de sa femme et il remercie l'Éternel pour cela. Il conseille de garder foi en Dieu. Christateur, restez toujours connecté. Praise the Lord! Well, we thank God for the beautiful testimony. At least, she is free now because she said, take me to school. And I'm happy for her. <laughs> well, this is the end of it. My people love God. May God be with you all. This week, this day, this month, and years to come. In Jesus' name, I love you all. Stay blessed. For now, in Jesus' name, love you. Emma from Tema. <laughs> <laughs>